Hey everyone, let's talk about sexual health myths. It's important to know the truth to stay safe. According to the CDC, STI cases are at an all-time high, with over 2.5 million cases in 2019 in the US alone. That's a lot. And worldwide, the WHO says over 1 million people get an STI every day. So let's debunk some common myths to protect ourselves. I've got expert help from Dr. Suman, a consultant in sexual and reproductive health from Public Health England. First myth, oral contraception protects against ST. Have you ever thought that taking the pill or using other birth control methods means you re-save from ST? Well, that's not true. These methods only prevent pregnancy, not ST. So you still need to use a condom to protect against St. As fact. The CDC clearly states that birth control methods like the pill, Patrang, and IUD do not protect against St. Is or HIV. Second myth, the withdrawal method prevents pregnancy and St. Is. Some people think that if the guy pulls out before he finishes, there's no risk, but that's not accurate. There can still be sperm in the prejaculate fluid, which can cause pregnancy, and it doesn't protect against cysts at all. Study. A study found that 10 out of 27 men had viable sperm in their meaning there's still a risk of pregnancy, even with withdrawal. Third myth, using two condoms provides more protection. You might think that double the condoms mean double the protection, but that's not the case. Using two condoms can actually make them more likely to break due to friction. So one good quality condom is best. Fourth myth, STS can be spread through toilet seats. This is a common fear. But it's unfounded. SDI bacteria and viruses don't live long outside the body, so you can't catch an SDI from a toilet seat. SDIs are spread through sexual contact, like unprotected sex or sharing sex toys. Fifth myth. All SDIs are curable. Unfortunately, only for STIs are curable with antibiotics. Syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and trichomonia. The others, like hepatitis B, Herpes, HIV, and HPV are viral and have no cure. So, prevention is crucial. Sixth myth. Only penetrative sex can spread as STIs can be spread in many ways, not just through penetrative sex. Oral sex, direct skin contact, sharing sex toys, and blood exposure can all transmit as So, be cautious with all forms of sexual activity. Seventh myth. Only certain groups can contract HIV. HIV can affect anyone, no matter who you are or who you love. It's important to get tested regularly, especially if you're sexually active with multiple partners. Testing is easy and confidential. Eighth myth, STs always have symptoms. Many STIs don't show any symptoms, which means you might have one without knowing and can spread it to others. So. Regular testing and using condoms are key. Conclusion. So, to sum it up, ST is are common, but they're also preventable. By knowing the facts and practicing safe sex, you can protect yourself and your partners. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more health tips and stay safe.